All right, Cancer, here we go, and everyone. Really, this is an all signs reading. It's secure for Cancer reading. I thought it was fitting here at the end of March. Here we are. What is it, March 30th, right? Something like that? Yeah, Thursday, March 30th. Let's do it. Let's pull a cure for Cancer reading. I thought this was a good time. Month has been, uh, March has been a very long month. It's been a, a grand finale to the fireworks display of energy that was the first quarter of 2023. And we're about to move into April, where things in the second half of the month pick up speed. In the first half, bit of a crossroads time. It's decision time. All right, I got a pre-shuffle here. Uh, this is technically an all signs reading, but it's a look at the soulmate cycle from the hot spot, from the angle of Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus. It's a general reading. It may or may not resonate with you, but if the title brought you in here, or you found Steve's Love Tarot, you're here for a reason. This reading is timeless. Whenever you find it, if you are meant to find it, there's a whole playlist of these. My pre-shuffle. Before I hit the record button, I shuffle. And I ask the universe, what's going on? From the angle of Cancer here. Give me a cure for Cancer reading, I said. And give me the surface energy. Well, here it is. It's a whole lot of woulda, coulda, shoulda. It's it's the Ten of Pentacles crossed by the King of Cups. With the, there's it, it, that's some it's someone thinking about what they coulda had with you if they'd opened up. Someone who still has feelings here. A lot of them welling up. I think something about you. Thinks you coulda been the Ten of Pentacles, if you will. Uh, here you are, the Queen of Pentacles crossed by the uh, or alongside the Eight of Cups. Uh, so you are, do, they see you doing great, walking towards your nine cups, continuing on your path as they sit with all their stuff, the emperor longingly watching you over here, walking towards your nine cups. There's you walking there, there's you, you got a little friend with you maybe, I don't know. Uh, either way, uh, it's what they could have had, what the what, whole bunch of woulda, coulda, shoulda here had they just said how they felt, uh, said what they meant. If you will, rather than, you know, running. Let's you know, let's give the deck a shuffle. Let's see where we're at. And that's about where they should be right now. Uh, it is. It really is. That's about what should be happening. May even see something similar to that in tomorrow's Friday reading where I pull what they're thinking and feeling right now. Wouldn't surprise me a bit. Let's see where we go. That's where we're at. Now, there's a lot to take in here at the end of March. March... I said at the beginning of the month would take all my energy to pull the readings, and it did. I was napping like a child during the month of March, going to bed at 8 o'clock. Well, a couple of nights, 7 o'clock. Jesus. Holy crap. I haven't done that since I was 5. All right. Just giving the deck a shuffle here. Give me the soulmate cycle from the angle of cancer. Cure for cancer reading. So it's a bit of a flyover. It's an all signs version from the angle of the hot spot. Uh, we do the same thing every time. I'm done shuffling. We got five cards from the bottom. The environmental energy, all of it around this runner. And up, up top is how they're behaving in that energy. Let's find out. Let's do it. Here's the hermit. <laughs> A lot of soul. Soul's activated. Somebody still sees you. All right. Got to phrase it that way. Uh, page of Cups. Um... It's a tidal wave of love here, but somebody here, again, still a lot of fear of being vulnerable. Here's the center card. Here it is. The base energy of the uh, environmental energy is a tower. I think this is all going to lead to some kind of breakdown for this person. I truly do. I think it's all going to lead to some kind of breakdown. They're going to blow their top off, if you will. Uh, it wouldn't surprise me because they're holding on to a lot of love. The Ace of Cups. Holding on to a lot of it. And the fifth card is the star. And yeah, she got some pants on. I know. She, I liked her better naked too. But either way, uh, it is divine timing. It is someone who still sees you. It's bookending the hermit. And the energy of, for them to manifest is quite strong. Which I think is what causes this tower. I think they realize that they could still say something. I'm just not sure. Uh, they feel like they have the confidence to. But empathy is flowing here, big time. They all want something. I'll show you the sixth card just because you see it by default when I pull the fifth. Uh, so, three of Pentacles. It, it is that energy if somebody wants something here. They know they do, deep down. Um, this is the most interesting card to me. This is very powerful. Uh, this tower around these specific energies when it falls in the environmental energy. This tells me there's an impending tower that's coming here. This person, this person, you know, feelings left unexpressed, words left unsaid haunt us. 
And this, this, is a, this is an energy around a person that, that, that can lead to an emotional breakdown of some kind. It really can. Our reading's on the flip here. Let's see, four cards from the top. How are they behaving in this environmental energy? Well, I can kind of tell already what's coming, but let's see. Um, the energy is right for you two to come together with the hermit and the star here. The environmental energy is right. By all accounts, they should be reaching out, okay? But I think that's going to take just a little bit. It's going to have to, this tower is going to have to happen for this person before that happens. All right? I, I firmly believe that. Let, let's see. Knight of Wands. Yeah, there's, there's an urge. It's, it's, it's in and out, though. I see it. I saw it with the Page of Cups. They're not sure if they can handle. There's a lot of, I mean, they still see you. There's a lot of, a lot of love here. A tidal wave behind it, but they're this little, they're this little girl here. Not really, you know, about to get swept away with it more than anything else. Knight of Wands. Uh, it takes bravery. It does. It is incoming. I said the environmental energy is right. They, well, they want to, anyway. Justice. Wow. I think we're going to see justice a lot in April. I think that's one of the cards we're going to see a lot. I think the Two of Swords or something, or Two of Pentacles might be the other ones. But what, what's crossing justice? Ace of Pentacles, yeah. Um, well, let me see what's bookending this before I open my big mouth. Yeah, the Eight of Swords. Yeah, again, that's why I said this is an in and out energy. There's a lot of fear. This, this Eight of Swords, this fear, this overthinking ties to this energy here in the tidal wave and the little girl not sure how to handle. A lot of door slamming with this and things like that. Somebody here, though, I think might break. Or they might just break down themselves. Uh, this Ace of Pentacles, it's, it's the slowest energy. It's Grandma on the freeway at 15 miles an hour. It's crossing justice. It tells me that, again, it's that want energy. You know, this person would love to come forward and tell you how they feel, but they're scared to. Okay, can I put it like that? I mean, I, I think I know why they're scared to. It, it's, it, they're all afraid to be vulnerable. You know, so they're worried about rejection. They're worried about what might happen. You know, all the, all the things that might happen scare this person. Um, that, that's the case with the King of Wands type energy all the time, which is how they often reflect. Um, let's see. Let's talk about this Knight of Wands. Let's clarify. Why is the Knight of Wands here? This, I, I will tell you this is about where we should be in the soulmate cycle right now. This is about right. It is. And Justice, very strong card here. All right. In this Ace of Pentacles, very nice card, very auspicious. You know, they know what they want to do. Um, they love, the, they love the idea that it might go well, but they're afraid of the idea that it won't. Okay? That's, a, that's like an easy way to put it. All right. But the energy is there. It is there. And, and if they don't do it, this, this Ace of Cups becomes toxic. It starts shaking. It becomes volatile. All right? And that's, that's about what this is. And that's, about, and that's represented with that tidal wave, too. Uh, why is the Knight of Wands here? Why? 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 crossed by the King of Cups. That's why they're afraid. Again, it's everything I already told you. I read the energy first, then I pull the cards. King of Cups, afraid to be vulnerable. Okay, again, they're, they, they love the idea that this would go well, but are afraid that it won't. And then they look stupid, right? And, and people, who are, people who are in their ego always are afraid to look stupid. They always are. They're always concerned with what other people will think. All right? And that's why you shouldn't be that way. That's not real power. It's not. All right, here we go. People that, that, that think they're powerful because they have a big job, big fancy job, high power, all that kind of stuff. They're always, there's always a lot of fear underneath that. There's always a King of Cups type energy with that because they're afraid if they lose the job. Because deep down in the soul, which is barren for a good number of them, uh, they uh, shut down. They, they know that if they lose that job, they lose all that power. That's why the only real power is here, right? That's it. That's the only thing that can't be taken away from you. A job can be taken away. You're not powerful. How powerful are you when you lose the job? No, you're just an asshole with a barren soul at the end of that. What's on top? Two of Swords. Said, pretty common card. We're going to see it. All right, as we head into April. Two Swords. They're of two minds. Yeah. It's, I, said, I already said it's an in and out energy, and I explained why, and this card explained it. Uh, why is the Two of Swords here? The star. Mm. Um, this is a funny energy because this ties with this star here. Um, the pers this person is, 
manifesting this to come to it's, it's i'm just going to explain it this way they're not actually manifesting sitting down and i'm going to manifest this this person is this energy is manifesting this to come together and at the same time because they're injecting fear into the manifestation they're manifesting it to go away so this is a true and pure in and out energy it comes in it goes out it comes in it goes out imagine you're in a restaurant you order food okay manifesting the food I ordered food waitress comes to bring your food you say no I don't want it stay away from me you pull a knife on her no I don't want it stay back stay back right okay you put you put the knife down she makes another approach you keep picking the knife up no stay back stay back right it's like that that's literally how this energy feels it's it's crazy and it's confusing to the waitress and it's confusing to the universe the waitress is the universe in that analogy all right let's go uh, I'm going to split these energies and I'm going to pull on justice. Why is justice here? Hmm? Tell me about it. Now, again, energy's trying to balance here. All right, but, but this person's confusing the universe on a high level. So the net result is it's all on hold. All right? The waitress, in this case, is hanging out by the kitchen door, afraid, talking to the other waitresses, talking to her friends. I don't know what's going on with table six. I don't know. I'm afraid. Should we call the police? I don't know. I don't know, right? It's like that. I mean, that's literally what the universe is doing right now. It's like, okay, you have a lot of love here. And that's why we have a breakdown, right? It's crazy. I think this person is due for this. I think this is uh, cyclical with this person. This energy has a lot of old karma attached to it. It's a very old soul, okay? And this is a lot of energy that they keep locked up. They keep pushed back. Um, I think this is cyclical. I think this might be if you research this person's history or maybe you know it every you could almost time it like a person with depression for example they, they go through dips and then they come back up and they normalize a bit right not counting manic depression where they shoot up high just regular old depression they have dips and then they normalize you can time those dips they're very if you know the person long enough for some people, it's every couple of months. For other people, it's every year and a half. It's very easy to do. I think with this person, we're in a point where they're about to dip. Okay? And I'm not saying they have depression. I'm just using it as an example. All right. Justice. They might, though. They behave like they do. You know? Table six, kind of crazy. The waitress, the universe, freaking out. Okay, I don't know what's going on. Every time I try to bring the food that they ordered, they scare me away with a table knife. All right. What's going on? You're a threat to this person. Not physically. You're a threat to this person's old existence. The old existence is past its expiration date. It's time for them to move on. That's why we're getting things like towers. That's why they're going to have that break. That's why the star has shown up twice. It, it's divine timing. The energy is right for them to move on. It's, the energy is right, in my restaurant analogy, for, for, for this person to eat. But because the food's coming but they keep scaring the food away with fear okay why is justice here I'm all done talking why is justice here why why Jesus. again they know what they want here they're trying to manifest this knight of cups crossing justice justice is balanced energy balanced energy to you in the 3d is happiness this is trying this is past it's trying to come together I can see it here. The energy is right. The hermit bookending the star. It's time for this old soul. It's awake. And, it, and this person just keeps scaring the food away. Okay, what's going on here? What, what's on top? Nine cups. Again, same thing. Knight of cups, nine cups. It's, it's ready to go. Okay, it, it's time. Uh, why is the nine cups here, though? But it's not. The hangman. It's just sitting there. It's sitting there. And... and in my rest back to my restaurant analogy so the, so they, they, they keep scaring the food away right so the waitress is over huddling over with the other waitresses talk I don't know what's going on with table six should we call the police all this all the while the food's getting cold okay so by the time they get this because a lot of time has passed and stuff like that the food will be cold more times are wasting here all right it's it's a bit like that and that adds within the energy a pressure and this person's coping mechanism for pressure is to shut down. It's to go in hangman mode. Put the car in neutral. Freaking out like somebody who never drove on a freeway before. 
especially an LA freeway. You never drove on a freeway before. You do not want to take your first lesson on the 405, the 101, or the 5 here in Los Angeles. You do not. You will pull the car over, shake, put it in neutral, and just sit there in your, in your driver's seat and start shaking. All right, because you got to be a fighter pilot to, to pull off a freeway out here, especially with some of the on-ramps and off-ramps. Jesus Christ. That's it. That's what's going on. It's a good analogy here. This person's coping mechanism is to freeze because there's a pressure that comes up underneath, and that pressure is this shaking ace of cups as it builds, as it builds. It's the food getting cold in my restaurant analogy. All right? So they keep, they ordered it. The food's ready. It's hot. But they keep rejecting it. Why is the Ace of Pentacles here? Why? 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 The Five of Pentacles. There's fear around all of this. Okay? The final outcome up here is Eight Swords. Somebody in their head too much. Not doing anything. Frozen with fear. Shaking on the side of the freeway. Or just starving to death in my restaurant analogy. Because the waitress can't get the food to them. It's the Five of Pentacles. There is this dichotomy within this energy right now. And that's part of the crossroads, the Two of Swords that represents the first half of April. It's time for someone to make a decision here. Are you going to let the waitress bring the food, the universe bring the two soulmates together, or are you going to keep scaring the food away? Eventually, it, she can't bring it. You know, eventually it just gets cold and, and starts mold starts collecting on it, and that's that. This person here wants this with every fiber of their being, but they're slowing things down with a fear of missing out. The fear of getting rejected. A fear of getting left out in the cold. Fear of getting re left out in the cold. And, and it's, it's, it's rich. It really is because they really want this. And at the same time, this fear of being left out in the cold is, well, they're getting left out in the cold by not doing anything. So it's, it's a self-fulfilling prophecy. What's on top? Page of Swords. Ah. It's a disappointing energy, right? It is. The universe is saying, and I, I, and I want you to take this literally, let this person go through this. Because if communication happened right now, if grandma showed up, right, grandma on the freeway at 15 miles an hour, she finally gets to the destination. If they do show up, what they have to say will be disappointing. It will be. Um, I also think spying energy is this person's coping mechanism as well. They might be checking in on your websites, on your social media. Uh, if they're close enough, they might, you know, go by where you work or something like that. Either way, that is possible as well. Why is the Page of Swords here? Five of Cups. Again, more disappointment, more regret, more sadness. A conversation held under the energy of regret this time around, in, under this current Two of Swords environment, would, result, would be a very disappointing conversation. This person here is it's like a depressed person in a dip. It, nothing makes them happy. Nothing. You, you can approach this person with a lottery win and they're going to shoot it down and say, I don't want it. They self-sabotage under that dip. They need to go through this. This tower needs to happen. This person's emotional breakdown. Right here, that's, that's what the universe is saying in this position with that Ace of Pentacles. So let them go through this. You can reach out to them if you want. They definitely would love to hear from you. Absolutely, no doubt about it. Believe it or not. But on the outside, they'd tell you that they didn't want to hear from you because they're just surrounded by swords here. Eight swords, fear, blindfolded, trapped. What do I do? There's pressure of, of, two, of a lot of time passing. There's all kinds of stuff. They manifest it in. The energy is perfect for it with the star and the hermit. So it's no surprise that they manifest it in and they feel like there's an opportunity. The Knight of Wands, I'm ready to go. And then... They scare it away with their own fear. Right? Manifesting, you don't want to inject anything in a manifestation. You want to set, tell the universe what you want. Imagine how you'd feel having it. Put it out there. Let it go. Forget about it. Leave a void for the universe to fill. Nature abhors a vacuum. It fills the vacuum. What this person's doing is creating that vacuum and then filling it with nonsense. So, it ends up getting tainted. Right? If I give you an empty glass and you want some water, well, then I can pour some water in that glass, and there you go. There's your clean water. But if you give me an empty glass and say, get me some water in here, but then when I go to get the water, you pour some uh, poison, some rat poison in the bottom, 
and then I come and I pour you the water, it's, it's poisoned water at that point. The well is poisoned, if you will. So you want to leave your voids void for the universe to fill. So you get clean emotion. You get clean water. Right now we've got water mixed with rat poison and even one drop. One drop of negative energy ruins a whole glass of water. Like I used to say all the time, one drop of Windex ruins five quarts of perfectly beautiful chili. Completely. That's the negative energy. That's how powerful it is because it feeds itself. That Windex gets mixed up in there and the whole thing tastes like window cleaner. Right? Gordon Ramsay call you a donkey. That said, why is, tell me about this Eight of Swords. Why is all this fear here? Why is, I, I say let them go through it. I'm fine with this. I'm actually fine with this reading. This is exactly the reading I should be getting right now at the end of March. Leading into the first half of April. Spot on. I like this. I want this to happen to this person. Wake the fuck up. Alright? It's time. Time to put this down. Let's see why it's here, though. Let's see what's going on with the Eight of Swords. Give me the Eight of Swords. Why is it here? Why? Why? This is why. This is always motherfucking why. It's the Emperor. I figured it was either going to be this or a King of Wands. I already talked about the King of Wands a little bit ago. I knew something, some kind of Burger King was going to show up. Why they got a stomach ache? Why? Because they keep eating at Burger King. That's why. It's an out of balance emperor. It's just reflecting King of Wands energy for the most part. I'm drawn to the fire of it. It's someone who has, is just afraid that they're going to get rejected or that it's too late. It's everything I already told you. That's what all the fears are. And at the end of the day, they are just rejecting themselves. That's all they're doing. It tells us exactly the same thing the pre-shuffle showed us with that emperor in the pre-shuffle. Right? It's straight up. What's on top? Three of Pentacles. They want something with you. You matter. That's the problem. That's why there's fear. You matter. The, the King of Wands or the Out of Balance Emperor, and look at this, underneath it is the Queen of Cups. They don't know how, they're, they don't know how to process this Queen of Cups. They don't know how to handle this. They're afraid things will get out of control. They're afraid they'll say something and they'll look stupid. That's what they're always afraid of. Why? Because an out-of-balance emperor, a Burger King, gotta have it their way kind of energy, ego and pride is always concerned with what other people will think. If you're concerned that you'll get egg on your face or look stupid, then you're worried about what other people will think. You're not gonna look stupid to yourself. Most people will do the craziest things when they're alone. Alone, you got people out there with all kinds of weird little things they do. Dudes that walk around in women's pantyhose in their house and stuff like that when they're by themselves. They don't go out in public like that or show anybody anything. You know, they got everybody got their little secrets, their little things that they do. And that's someone watching me right now. That's fine. But you're worried about what other people will think. That's, that's, that's the bottom line. They're worried that there's a lot of love here. There's a lot of love. And again, the emperor... Mm, doesn't like to put themselves out there. Doesn't like to put it on the line. You matter. They're putting it on the line with you no matter what. They're strongly manifesting. Their soul is screaming. Come on, bring them in. Bring the food. And then when it, when it gets close, when they get just about to take that leap of faith, to take that brave, impulsive action, they chicken out. They get in their head. The fears kick in. Why? Because you matter. And I've been saying that for a long time, and here it is right there, the Three of Pentacles. They want something. They want this. The emperor that's out of balance, the emperor without the empress, right, without, it gets maniacal. Goes after, goes after things it knows it can get. It's not going to hurt its ego. They're afraid of their ego getting hurt. At the end of the day, that's all it is. And I've tried to explain it in a way where it's easy for everyone to understand. Somebody's still going to thumbs down this thing. That's not my person. They're not afraid of anything. Really? They're not afraid of anything? Then why the fuck did they run from you? I mean, that's crazy. They're all, the, all the runners in this cycle are afraid to be vulnerable. It, it's a core product of societal energy more than anything else. Why is the Three of Pentacles here? The uh, Page of Pentacles. Yeah. I, see, I see these people all day long on my walks your runner types. This same frequency of energy that makes the runners run plays out differently in different situations. I see it all day long on my walks. I saw it just the other day with a dude. We, caught, we sort of crossed paths. He was just walking and we crossed paths and uh, I said hi and he didn't say hi back. He didn't even look at me. He went straight into his bag, dug his smartphone out and immediately started doing this with it. 
I mean, as if I'm shit stupid, I could tell it wasn't even on. He didn't even have time to hit the button. Then you got to swipe up and enter your code. And then it comes up and then you load something. He didn't even have time to do any of that. He was swiping an empty shut off phone. You know, it's just he had to look busy, afraid to be vulnerable, afraid to look stupid. God forbid I'm not busy, right? Because they care what other people think. It's the same frequency of energy. And it bleeds into the soulmate cycle as a fear of vulnerability. Somebody here wants something, but they're afraid. And, and they figured out, this is a card of the student, that they want something. That's why, that's why the Three of Pentacles is here. Why do they want something? Because they've learned this. They figured it out, probably through spying and thinking about you and feeling you and feeling this regret and this Five of Cups. Absolutely. You're the Nine of Cups. We already know you make them happy. It's very clear. Um, but this person here still has some more lessons to learn. Let them go through this. Let them go through it. I mean, it's just the way it is. This is someone here who's afraid to talk. But when you're nervous about it, really nervous, quaking at the knees, all right? It is what it is. Uh, this is exactly where I expect the soulmate cycle right now. I love, and, and these cards, I'll separate them as the energy flows like that. This right here is your star of the show. I know there's two stars, but they're not the star. They're just what's, what, what this person's doing that makes me smack my head and go, Jesus Christ, what the hell? You ordered the food, let the waitress bring it. They should come together. This right here has to happen. The net result of them behaving this way is this. This is already in their environmental energy. It's already starting to take hold. It will take hold in early April for sure. Now I'm going to pull on the witches here one more time. I'm going to shuffle, see if there's anything else the universe wants to tell you. All right, let's see where we go. It's fine. It is what it is. But this, this, this person has to go through this. And, and I, I think if they do communicate... I'm curious about whether or not they can even put that King of Wands energy down, to be perfectly honest with you. You can't have a long-term relationship with a King of Wands. You, you, you just can't. Somebody, you, you have to just, I don't know. You have, to be, you have to be all in. And the King of Wands never is all in on, on anything. Always afraid their precious ego is going to get hurt in some way. Or their image is going to get damaged. Or what's other people going to think? That kind of thing. You can't be like that. Love is a leap of faith. It really is. It's, it, there's a lot of it here. There's enough of it here that they're, without realizing it, manifesting you two come together. They're manifesting. And in doing that, they're making the connection stronger and stronger and stronger. Right? But they're not leaving the glass empty. And that's the problem. They're putting rat poison in it with fear. All right. Because you matter. And that alone should make you feel good. That should raise your vibration all by itself. You matter. Great. That's awesome. In spite of what they may have told you. Mm. All right. What else you want to tell everyone? Let's go. Bottom card, Seven of Swords. Bullshit. Bullshit a palooza. It's crossing the center card I'm going to pull. There's the King of Pentacles. There's the Emperor. <laughs> there. Before I even pull the third card, I don't even need it, but I'm going to pull it anyway. Seven is some bullshit crossing the emperor. Full of shit that he's full of shit. Full of shit that he's okay with all this stuff and he's fine. Right? Because look where he's looking. Right over there at you walking toward your nine cups. Having your fun. Yeah, 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 yeah. Good lord. Alright, what's, what's red with the king of pentacles? What else? Yeah, as I say that, you walking toward... I, I, here's the eight of cups. I said it. I just said it. She walking toward her nine cups. I said, here he is, the emperor, the bullshit artist, pretending he's happy with all this stuff, watching you, looking right at you, walking toward your nine cups. I was just about to talk about the eight of cups that came up in the pre-shuffle. Here we go. It's right there. Eight cups. I don't have to. This person here, their whole life is bullshit. Their whole world is bullshit. All of this, they, that they don't care about you, that's bullshit. Uh, that they're happy with, with their life and their security and their king of, you know, their, st their stability. It's bullshit. It's past its expiration date. It's eight broken cups. It's time for them to start walking toward their nine cups. It's time for this person to get up. And that, my friends, is where this tower lives. This is a very important energy. I hope we see it again. I truly do. You guys will remember I forget these readings, but 
I wash them when I'm done. But at the end of the day, keep your eye out for two swords. Keep your write it down because I I won't remember any of this. Keep your eye open whether it's the Friday reading, the weekly reading, Mercury reading I'm going to pull on Sunday, the Venus and Gemini reading which is very important to this first but whatever. In the first half of April, keep your eye out for two swords, Tower and Justice. Those are cards you're going to want to see. Those are, those are the key cards I want you to look for. Alright? That's it. That's what we got here. First, it's full of shit. All this bullshit is going to lead to this right here. Why? Because this energy, your energy is tied to this as well. They see you walking away. They see you walking toward your nine cups. You're still moving. This person, where is it? Where is it? This person is staying still and you're moving. The, again, that's a problem. That puts a lot of distance. As that distance grows, it creates a tension. It creates a tense energy. All right? Not a tension. A tension. A, a tense energy. And that, and that leads to this. This is an emotional breakdown for this person. It really is. Getting past their bullshit. And that's why these readings are all signs. You know, I'm just doing an all signs reading here. Real quick one. From the angle of the hot spot. Looking at it from one angle. You know, if you look at, it, if you look at something from one angle, you see certain things and then you move a little and you notice other things. That's all I'm doing. It's the same thing. Same concept. This is a very powerful angle to look at this because cancer is the hot spot of the cycle. So it's where all the emotion lives. It's, it's what the theme of the emotion of this is. And these runners have a hard time being vulnerable. And that's tricky in Cancerian energy because cancer is a very vulnerable sign. A lot of times they wear their heart on the sleeve, you know, and this, it's hard for these bullshit artist emperors in this cycle, let me tell you. All right, that's your reading. I hope it was helpful. Stay tuned tomorrow for the Friday reading. Saturday for the weekly reading. Probably very important. And on Sunday, I'm going to pull on Mercury moving signs. All right, that's going to be fun. We'll see what happens there. Uh, that said, that's your reading. I hope it was helpful. If you like this reading, please like, share, and subscribe. Appreciate all the subscribers, everybody who shares, and everybody who watches. And for you, since this is a powerful manifesting time, take my manifesting advice from earlier. Don't put any fears in it. Don't put anything in it. If you ask the universe for a glass of water, give it a clean glass. Don't fill it with some rat poison first or dump shit in it. Oh, the universe is coming with some clean water. I better get some Windex and rat poison in there. That's not going to do you any good. Then the water by default isn't clean. You're not going to get what you want. What you're going to get is a pissed off universe, which is kind of what we have here, which is why this tower is happening. That's your reading. Good luck.